Hi there and welcome to the show. I'm the Tarantula Enthusiast. Enjoy the free ride to knowledge and wisdom regarding all things tarantula related. Today we cover the top 5 species of the tarantula genus Formictopus. Stay tuned to learn more about these magnificent creatures which almost reach sizes of the famous goliath bird-eating tarantula while at the same time being more colorful. We focus on records from their native environment and the pet trade. So make sure to leave a comment on the video in case you realize you have one of the species shown here in your collection. Number 1. Formictopus atrichomatus. This tarantula native to the country of the Dominican Republic inhabits large burrows. Known to science since the year of 1991 it was described by the German arachnologist Schmidt. As with most of his descriptions he heavily relied on material from the pet trade. As with all Formictopus species the spiderlings have an entirely blue coloration, much like the arboreal tarantulas from the genus Caribna, which inhabit neighboring islands. P. atrichomatus inhabits the northern part of the Dominican Republic. P. atrichomatus prefers mainly natural hiding places, but by burrowing activity a living chamber is built. Whether also own burrows are dug cannot be confirmed. Mostly existing burrows of other animals, for example small rodents are used. The species prefers rather open terrain or scrubland and is not very demanding for moisture but does not avoid it. It can be found in cultivated land as well as in natural biotopes. The mating season is from August to November. The egg sacs are built from the end of December to February. The locality Honduras for Formictopus atrichomatus is based on a misinterpreted information from the pet trade. This species is native exclusively on Hispaniola. In Central America the genus Formictopus is not represented. The distribution of the genus is therefore limited to the Greater Antilles, Cuba and Hispaniola. The researcher Banks reported a Formictopus from Puerto Rico which is not deposited in any collection. So this information cannot be confirmed. From Jamaica the genus is also not yet officially known, but we will present you a picture in this video from a Formictopus from Jamaica. Number 2. Formictopus species green. Outstanding and unique coloration among adult females the Formictopus species green provides an overall metallic green sheen on all of its body parts. Not much is known about this species, especially their native range is a huge mystery. Number 3. Formictopus cochlis forex. Probably the most iconic species among all members of the genus because of its special habit to prey on snails. In nature this species has been found to prey on snails and is therefore considered a food specialist. In captivity this tarantula species preys on other invertebrates such as other tarantulas with no issues. Nevertheless further studies are needed regarding their need for special nutrients which they might only get from these specific prey items. P. cochlis borax lives exclusively in burrows dug by itself, avoids damp forest areas and seems to prefer dry warm biotopes. It lives sympatrically with Formictopus auratus and Ceatophalis ramsi. The diet of this species is very unusual within the family of tarantulas. Here for the first time by scientists Fernandez and colleagues a semi-specialization on a certain prey animal was proven. Around their cave entrances were found ring-shaped snail shells. Experimentally it could be proved that the animals, if they have the possibility, prefer mainly shell snails as food. The shells of different snail species were found on the burrows. The males appear from June but mating does not occur until late summer to September. The cocoons are then built from January to February. Number 4. Formictopus species Dominican Purple Another scientifically undescribed tarantula species from the genus Formictopus. The tarantula species Formictopus species Dominican Purple is native to the Dominican Republic and has been found in various localities. Not much is known about this tarantula species and it awaits a proper scientific diagnosis. Until then, the confusion will be great within the pet trade, as similar-looking Formictopus species will get sold under the same name. Solely based on assumptions because of their coloration, always question the source of said Formictopus species and ask the seller or breeder where they originally came from. Your best bet would be a legal import from one of the trusted breeders within Europe, Canada or the US. Bonus Tarantula Citizen scientist and tarantula enthusiast Standa Pavalk has documented a Formictopus species on Jamaica. For a long time arachnologists thought that the island of Jamaica is inhabited by Formictopus species but never got any proof. Thanks to his outstanding contribution to the science community researchers can now work on the Formictopus species from Jamaica. Number 5. Formictopus auratus. Formictopus auratus, commonly known as the Cuban bronze tarantula, is a new world terrestrial tarantula that is endemic to the island and country of Cuba. 
This species is unmistakable within the genus Formictopus even though there has been much confusion about which species are which in the past. The scientific name P. oratus has been applied in the hobby to a couple different species of tarantulas that are also found in Cuba and for a while P. oratus was sometimes sold as P. cubensis. To make things even worse some people have sold P. oratus as P. platus. Formictopus oratus was described by Ortiz and Bertani in 2005 and is unique due to the fine and dense golden hairs on its carapace visible in both the male and female specimens. In fact, in Latin, oratus means gilded or adorned in gold, similar to P. atrichomatus. This tarantula colonizes almost all habitats. Findings from mangroves, wet forest areas, mountainous regions, Cactus scrub and urban areas speak for themselves. Natural hiding places are preferred, but the scientific literature provides evidence about a site near Guantanamo where the species invariably inhabits burrows. Mature molt and reaching maturity of males from June. Mating season is from late August to September. The egg sacs were found from March to April. Sad ending. The cultivation of land and the human usage of said land is also a huge problem to tarantulas around the world. In most countries, grass gets burned down to clear it for further usage. Inhabiting animals on that specific land get killed in the process of doing so. Dozens of specimens were found burned to death on this small piece of land. Luckily, the colony was pretty huge and adult females with their egg sacs were also found right next to the burned land in healthy condition. That was it. Thanks for watching the first episode on this newly created channel. Tell your friends, leave a comment and subscribe.